In this lecture, we are going to learn about different types of circles in Creo. So in Creo, you will see the circle. I will click on this arrow. You will see center and point, concentric, three point and tangent. So now let's go to some basics of different types of circles. So when you define any circle in any CAD software, you need two references. First reference will be the center point of the rectangle and second will be its either radius or the diameter. So this half section is called radius and this complete value is called diameter. So now let's go to Creo and create the circle. Here I will go to circle, click on circle. So we need to define the first point will be center of circle. So I will click here and then drag the mouse. You can see preview of a circle. I will click here and then press escape. Now you can see a circle of this diameter value is highlighting. We can change this value just make a click here. When I make a single click on this dimension it is going to show this arrow. So here we can lock the dimension. We have some more options. But the important one here is we can also change this dimension to a radial dimension. So right now it is defined as diameter. When I make a double click, let's say this is 10. So now we have a circle of diameter 10. Similarly, I can also create one more circle. And let's say I want to create a circle along with the center of this line. So take the mouse onto the center and then drag it. And then drag the mouse. You can see preview of a dotted line. I will click here and then drag the mouse, click here. Press escape two times. Now go to this dimension, make a single click on this. Here you can change this to a radial dimension. Click on this and insert value. Let's say this is 5. So in this way we can create two circles of different dimensions using radius and diameter. Second type of circle we have is the concentric circle. So concentric circle are the circle of same center. So if you take a look at this type of circles, you can see in this circle, we have multiple circle. But for all the circle, the center of circle is common. So this type of circle is called concentric circle in which in which circle have same center. So to create this type of circle, what we have to do is go to circle and select concentric. First of all, we need to select any reference. So let's say I will select this circle as reference. It is going to take center of the circle. Click on this and then drag the mouse. We can make a smaller circle or we can make a larger circle. When I drag the mouse inside, you can see smaller circle. Again, you can continue making multiple circles. So I'm clicking once again. When I don't want more circle, press escape. Now you can define the dimension of the circles. So click on this first circle that is smaller. Here you can define the dimension. First one is radius, second one is diameter. Let's say I want to define diameter, click on this insert value. Let's say this is 7.5. Similarly, you can change the dimension for other circles. Click on this circle and then change the dimension. And next type of circle we have is a three point circle. It is a circle that is going to pass through three points. For example, for this circle, we need three reference point. So I will go to this point here. First of all, I will go to line, go to line chain. Let's say I will select the first point, second point, third point, and then close this loop. So I have a triangle. Now I want to draw a circle that is passing through three points of this triangle. For this, I will go to circle and select three point. Here we need to select three points. So this will be first point and this will be second point and this will be third point. So for this circle, you cannot change the radius or anything because it is defined with respect to these points. And another type of circle we have is three tangent. It is a circle 
that is tangent to three references. For example, you can use the reference of lines. So here I will go to three tangent. Select the first line, select the second line, and select the third line. Press escape. So you will see a symbol of tangency highlighting here. This symbol is showing that these lines are tangents. Similarly here and similarly here. Also you can make circle tangents with respect to other circles. So I will create a center circle here. Let's say here. Now I want to create one more circle that is tangent to all three circles. So select the first circle, select the second circle, select this third circle. So you can see this circle is tangent with respect to all three circles. So in this way you can draw different types of circle. So when you draw the circle, let's say I will draw the first circle. I will go to center and point. And then I will draw one more circle. Let's say here. So when I drag the mouse, you will see at some point, this circle is going to turning to green at this point. Now you can see this circle is turning green and you will see a symbol of equal highlighting. It means at this point, these two circles have equal radius. I will click here, press escape. Now when I change the dimension of this circle, let's say this is 5, the dimension of second circle will automatically will change. This is called constraining. So these two circles are constrained to be equal in radius or you can say diameter. So this is a very good and time saving feature. We are going to use it multiple times.